learning from local COVID-19 outbreaks. From our system-wide review of COVID-19 infection outbreaks in health and social care settings, the following measures have been recognised to significantly reduce cross-transmission in workspaces. Ventilation. Research shows that being in a room with fresh air can reduce the risk of infection from COVID-19 particles by over 70%. If tolerated, leave windows open continuously or alternatively, open windows for short, sharp bursts of 10 to 15 minutes regularly throughout the day. This is to remove any infected particles lingering in the room. Car sharing. Healthcare staff have been required to isolate when identified as a contact of a positive COVID-19 case following a shared car journey. Avoid car shares with people from outside of your household bubble where possible. If necessary to access work, follow the guidance to reduce transmission risks, which includes keeping the vehicle clean, open windows during the journey, wear a fluid repellent type 2R surgical mask throughout the journey and sit at the furthest points from one another. Work-related group gatherings, including team meetings, training and handovers. A mask is not a substitute for social distancing. Breaches of social distancing during staff breaks and staff meetings have been linked to healthcare associated outbreaks. Ensure distancing measures are maintained at all times as well as wearing a fluid repellent type 2R surgical mask. You could be identified as a contact if distancing measures have not been maintained. Admin areas. COVID-19 transmission has also been linked with clinical staff accessing admin and office areas. Desks in all office areas, clinical and non-clinical, should be dedicated to individual use, cleaned between every use, and items not shared between colleagues such as stationery and telephones. Where this cannot be avoided, cleaning between uses should be performed. Breaks. Whilst break times require staff to remove their masks to eat, drink, smoke or vape, it potentially increases droplet distribution. Therefore, social distancing must be maintained. Access should be controlled, hand hygiene pre and post access, environmental cleaning undertaken, and a new fluid repellent type 2R surgical mask applied when breaks are finished. Beverage bays and kitchenettes. To minimise transmission risks, access should be limited to ensure social distancing can be maintained, hand hygiene performed on entrance and exit, and all touch points clean between use, such as kettles, doors, drawers, microwaves, fridges and light switches. Work bubble. Staff may consider themselves to have a work bubble, similar to that known as a household bubble, but there is no such thing as a work bubble. Social distancing measures and the appropriate use of new fluid repellent type 2R surgical masks should be maintained at all times within the workplace, with use of additional PPE, apron, gloves and eye protection, when delivering care. Staff who breach social distancing and or the appropriate use of fluid repellent type 2R surgical masks increase their risk of acquisition and wider spread into the workplace and could be identified as a contact through track and trace. Socialising outside of work. Interactions outside the workplace increase your potential to acquire and transmit COVID-19 into health and social care settings. Please follow the national guidance. Shared items. The current situation requires us to think differently. Sharing of items with colleagues should be avoided to reduce risk of COVID-19 transmission. This includes sharing of food such as biscuits from a shared tin, buffet style food, staff making drinks for one another, exchanging lighters and stationary items such as pens and clipboards. Touch point cleaning. Don't forget the less obvious items requiring regular cleaning. Examples include handheld electrical devices, stationery, photocopiers, keypads, keys and pull cords. Knowing your cleaning products. Cleaning is paramount to our fight against COVID-19. Do not underestimate the importance. Know your chosen products and ensure they are appropriate for your setting. Have available and known to all the manufacturer's instructions on dilution, reconstitution, contact times, storage and application. Environment and furniture. Keep your environment clutter-free to facilitate effective cleaning and utilise your furniture to promote social distancing. Remember, wash hands, cover face, make space.